Hey my beauties and welcome back to Beauties World. So today I'm going to be showing you guys this beautiful curly hair unit that I made myself. And the thing is about this hair is I did a new method. I did do the glue method, the hot glue method. I did do that before in my other video but this time I'm using the black glue. And as you can see it's a little bit smaller so we're going to have some challenges but this is what it looks like. It's the black glue on the um, on the lace there. So we're going to be doing that. And I did have a little boo-boo. So um, yes, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. But before we get into the video, please make sure you subscribe. Click that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video and all that good stuff. And while you're at it, make sure you click that like button. Show you got some love. You know I did this video for you guys. I got burnt and everything, y'all. I got starved for life. Please give me a like <laughs> and I will see you guys later on in the video. Today's hair is from Ollie Annabelle and they sent me a closure and I think it was four bundles and also that little um, sponge puff. Uh, I have it in 26, 24, 22 and 20 inches bundles. And look at that curl pattern, you guys. Can we say that it's popping? And it did not come pre-plucked, but it's okay. Like I said, I pre—I don't pre-pluck it, but I pluck it myself, so that doesn't make a difference for me. Um, yes, I was giving you guys here a closer look at that curl pattern because it's so beautiful. It's like a kinky type of curl, if you can say that. It's really, really, really tiny, so it's really beautiful. And the ends are very healthy. So yes guys, so I went in and bleached my knots for about maybe 15-20 minutes and now I'm ready to do my unit. So I did add a bag over the wig head and I put a dome cap with the T-pins to hold it down and this is the glue sticks that I have, the all black glue sticks. But do you see the major difference in the sizes? I did not know it was going to be this different so I did have a struggle trying to get that in there so I stuck it in there it melted so I had to stick the other glue stick the white one or the clear one to push it through so you guys know that's a recipe for disaster but you will see that later on but as you guys see I placed it on that lace and I'm doing it in sections and I'm gonna just you know place it down carefully that glue is hot so you don't want to burn yourself so use something to kind of push it down like that I'm just using a sharpie whatever was around me is what I used. and after that I kind of press down with my fingers after it's gotten a little bit cool so that I can make sure everything is nice and flat and tight on the dome cap so that's how I do it keep doing that all around the lace until you are done with it using that same method All right, now that I'm done with the lace, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my bundles. And this time I'm just gonna put it straight onto the dome cap where I wanna lay the bundles and then stick it straight on. I noticed that the black glue, it dries a little bit quicker so you gotta move a little bit faster. So if you don't like to move fast, you might wanna go with the other one, but this one is gonna, you know, it's gonna move a little bit faster. So, and the consistency is a little bit different, a little bit thicker. I don't know, it's, a, it's different from the other kind. Uh, but yes, I really, really liked it if I had it in the right size. So we're just gonna do the fold over method, and I'm gonna keep going with that, but you guys see what I did? A whole glob of glue fell onto my hands and I picked it off really quickly and it still took the top layer of my skin off. Do you see this? The pain, the agony, I can't believe I did that to myself because I was trying to rig that glue gun. So you guys, just get the right size please, don't try to rig anything. Hot glue is very dangerous, you can get third and fourth degree burns from this stuff. It's super hot so be super careful. I'm sorry for the eyesore but I had to finish this video for you guys and yeah. I'm going to just keep going and let you guys see what I'm doing.
All right, so we are all done. I'm just showing you guys how it looks at the top. It looks dark, it doesn't have that white residue. That's the good thing about having the black glue instead of the clear glue. So now I'm just peeling it off. As you can see, I got some of that glue onto the bag, so I'm gonna have to just work with that and peel it off so that I can get the wig off. So I finally got that bad boy off of there and this is what it looks like on the inside. Now you're just going to go ahead and cut off that dome cap around the lace area and I did kind of snip it. So we're going to have to rush this baby into surgery, we're going to need that needle stat. <laughs> and I did go ahead and close up that wound you guys, I closed it up. So here's what it's looking like, I'm going to have to go ahead and cut that lace off and we're going to put it right on. So here we have it. It's been about a week and a half before I put this wig back on because my hand needed to heal a little bit. But here is what it's looking like straight up before I do anything to it. Right now I'm just, you know, fluffing through it to put it the way I want it. Of course I did the side part. I'm taking this little solution that I made myself. Mixed, it's mixed with uh, water, um, cream for curly hair, and leave-in conditioner and I shook it up and that's my little solution. So right now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mousse on the areas that looks like it needs a little bit more, you know, of a pop. So I put that towards the front of the head and then I'll work it around the rest of the hair. And look at that, looks brand new, even though it is brand new, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's what it's looking like. I'm really, really loving this hair, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and frame it around my face. Taking my scissors, I'm just going to cut little layers just to frame my face. So right now I'm just going to scrunch up the hair, make it big and beautiful because that, that's how I love it. <laughs> so you see how much body it got from doing that? Beautiful hair you guys, it's so beautiful. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and work on my edges just a little bit. I put a little bit of mousse on the toothbrush and just put it a little bit around the edges there just to lay it down a little bit, just a slight bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and work on a little bit of a bang. So I'm taking some bobby pins and I'm going to stick it up just like that and let the bang hang over that and then I'm going to cut it just a little bit just to get it off you know my eyes and all of that so just be careful with that part I wanted a long bang a long side bang so that's what I'm doing here and I'm gonna scrunch it up so that we can have a nice body to it and yeah I think that's about it I think that's all I did to the hair let me know what you guys think are you feeling it have you ever tried this curl pattern yes you guys let me know what other methods you want me to try out for you Leave it in the comment section below. Let me know what other hair types, textures, colors. Let me know. I will get that out for you guys. Here I'm showing you how the hair looks if you pull it back because of course it's just a closure. And I think it still looks good. That still looks good. So yes, I'm showing you guys the burn. It healed up really nicely. I'm going to add some vitamin E oil. Let me know what I should do to get this scar to, you know, at least kind of go away. <laughs> Leave it in the comment section below. And let's go ahead and get on to this hair porn.
you made it to the end you guys make sure you like the video if you did enjoy it make sure you subscribe click that bell so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video and check out my latest videos and i will see you guys in my next one Mwah. bye